I grab my pen and write raps defending the prophecies I'm not the pastor's friend that ain't mastered in this theology Slave masters can't ain't have to send an apology So know the man of sin can be grafted into this olive tree At school we ain't learn about the Persians and Medes They send us to school to learn about the birds and the bees Cause under heathen watch, evil plots turn to decrees Under heathen watch, even cops turn into thieves Nigga, that's how it is on the wild, wild west Not until the heaven hits the earth will I find my rest Alright, Shalom uh, first and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Most High God, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, the Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. Uh, this is Yatav Sakari. I'm back with another quick video. And I don't know how you guys just got by me, all right? <laughs> we are one day away from the debate, first of all. Let me go ahead and mention that. The debate with Michael Brown is tomorrow, all right? Through the Spirit, man. <laughs> it's going to be a good one, all right? But, um, yeah, I don't know how this got by me, man, but through the Spirit, <laughs> it popped up on my desk. Now, the other day, guys, Remember, I put up that video. I showed you guys that Vocab Malone got my video taken down. And all I did was place his rap up there, right? I didn't give any commentary, didn't do anything. I just put his rap up there alone. He wouldn't flag me for that. So because he flagged me, I went and did this video, right? Vocab Malone reports me to YouTube, challenges me to a debate. And at the end of the video, we went ahead and took the, we took the rap song that he didn't want anybody to hear, and we just dissected the lines a little bit, right? So because I posted this video... I got this comment from my brother Pac Racino down there at the Biblical Rumble Room, right? And it's crazy because this is, oh, Pac Racino did this years ago. How this got by me, I don't know. But it, but I, it, would, have, it would have continued to go by me had vocab not flagged my video, right? So with me putting up this one, it made Pac Racino come here and say this. It says, sounds like the demon spirit of Malwan revealed himself again and showed everybody what he's really, really about. And it's cool because I knew Vocab's name was Vocabulary Malwin. I knew that's where he came up with the Malone thing, but I never knew what Mal meant. So we're going to look at we're going to look at Biblical Rumble Room's whole entire video, right? But but like I said, I got to show you this guy Vocab because Vocab Malone, we already heard him say that God hit in one of his raps, God can't find him. God called him, but he can't find him. Now, we know when you're freestyling, you might just slip up sometime, but now you don't you don't put an album out and say stuff like that though. You don't write that in the album. We're gonna we're gonna examine it, all right? Just a second. So he says, what does this godless this godless system have to offer? It says nothing except living the life of a scoffer. It says, I'll be honest, y'all, sometimes I hate God. So I'm like, did he say that? You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, what does he mean right there? He says, sure, sure did. I, the receipts are in the biblical rumble room playlist and C-A-O-W, which is Christian Apologist on Watch, and the Christian Apologist on Watch number four, I'll DM you the link. So he DM me the link, and you guys, make sure you guys go over there to his, to his page. We're going to look at that video, okay? I can't believe that guy by me, you know, because the way that he details everything and has it precisely right where, it, man, it's, it, it's perfect. And there's a lot of stuff on there you can use against these devils. So make sure you guys subscribe to that channel also, all right? Because we're going to look at this. I want you to hear this, you guys. Vocab does it again. Vocab, you got to answer for this, though. I told him, we're going to start dissecting this guy's lyrics. Now, this is on Spotify, right? The Lo Vocab Malone song, Lon uh, Lonely Maloney. Man, listen, man. We're just, I'm just going to take you right to this part, and then we're going to get to Biblical Rumble Room's page so we can break down Vocab's whole name. Because Mal, like I was saying earlier, I didn't know what Mal meant, but Mal means evil or, or bad. <laughs> so this guy's coming to us saying he's the vocabulary bad one that God can't find... Right? Listen to this right here, y'all. Yeah, this is going to be hilarious. <laughs> this is going to be hilarious. Okay, listen, but it's hilarious, but it's bad. Because this is the guy coming against everybody. The evil one. I'm on Show me tenderoni. Oh, I'm only then and only. This nigga tried to sing, try to end it with a melody, man. This dude's hilarious. You guys listen to this. I'm sick of living in this fake facade. He just said, I'm sick of living in this fake facade. I'll be honest, y'all. Sometimes I hate God. It ain't. This guy just said, I'll be honest, y'all. Sometimes I hate God. Now, this is no swag Malone, man, the Christian apologist, man, the pastor. This guy just did a song that said, I'm tired of living in this fake facade. Listen, he wrote this. 
This is his rap. This is his album. It's on Spotify. I'm tired of living in this fake facade. I'll be honest, y'all. Sometimes I hate God. Vocab, explain to us why. And explain that bar to us, please. Because you're like, like I said, I'm going to start listening to what you're saying here. All right? How did this get by me, you guys? <laughs> How did this just now hit my table? All praises for that brother, Pat Grissino, for hearing this and putting it out and sending it here. This guy just said he's tired of living in a fake facade. He'll be honest, y'all. Sometimes he hates God. Vocab, do you hate God today? What about yesterday? Why do you hate God? Who, who, who is it that hates God, you guys? That's Satan. Let's hear it again. But, no, but we're going to listen to some of the lines after that, too, because this dude is crazy, man. I'm sick of living in this fake facade. I'll be honest, y'all. Sometimes I hate God. Sometimes I hate God, right? Vocab just said, but we already know it, though. <laughs> With the, the things he says about the Bible every day, we know that he hates God. This guy didn't turn around and said that the Christian church is Israel, so we know he hates God. He hates what God is doing. But let's listen to the rest of this madness. It ain't my job to find me a wife. It's my job to ride the right type. It ain't me a job to find me a wife. It's my job to, 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 to rhyme and ride tight, okay? I want to touch lives, not lust after lies, okay? I want to touch lives. I don't want to lust after lies, right? But I want to touch thighs and commit drive-bys. But I want to touch thighs and commit drive-bys. You guys, what the hell is Vocab Malone talking about, man? He doesn't want to lust after thighs. He doesn't want to lust after lies. But he wants to touch thighs and commit drive-bys? Let's go back, man. I'm sick of living in this fake facade. I'll be honest, y'all. Sometimes I hate God. I mean, there really ain't nothing else to talk about after something like that. Sometimes I hate God. Like, whoa. That, that. <laughs> okay, what would make you, what would possess you to put that? I mean, <laughs> oh, man. So why do you hate God, though? Let's talk about that. Damn. It ain't my job to find me a wife. It's my job to rhyme and ride tight. It's my job to rhyme and ride tight. It ain't my job to find me a wife. It's my job to rhyme and ride tight. I wanna touch lives, not lust after lives. But I wanna touch thighs and commit drive-bys. I wanna touch lives, not lust after lies, but I wanna touch thighs and commit drive-bys. A vocab might be a mass shooter, man. Waiting to happen. Like, what the hell is this? You want to touch thighs and commit drive-bys? What kind of drive-bys, man? You talking about those T-shoes drive-bys where he drives by and screams out the window? <laughs> Sinner, get out the car, reprobate. Get out the car, reprobate. What type of drive-bys are you talking about, man? No surprise to the wise that I'm so sick. My life is spinning fast like an empty glow stick. Heaven. No surprise to the wise that I'm so sick. And look, we're the wise. It's definitely no surprise. We knew this dude was sick. He's putting it in his music, and now here he is with a whole bunch of black people with him to come against black people. He's sitting, but the wise know that he's so sick. Oh my goodness. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, what? shine your light. I don't need a wife, I need me more Christ. <laughs> so that's the end of it, man. Huh? Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, shine your light. I don't need a wife, I need me more Christ. What is that? <laughs> oh, man. Lord, man, what are we in, man? This is really Malibu's most wanted, but it's it's just the, the oh my God, it's just crazy, man. He does he wants to touch thighs, he wants to commit drive-bys. Sometimes he hates God, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, shine your light. I don't, I need me more Christ. I don't need a wife, I need me more Christ. 
I'm on Cabanoni, the morning fin and only, baby, 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 show me tenderoni. I'm on Cabanoni, the morning fin and only, baby, 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 show me tenderoni. I'm on Cabanoni, the morning fin and only, baby, 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 show me tenderoni. I'm on Cabanoni, the morning fin and only. I'm sick of living in this fake facade. I'll be honest, y'all. Sometimes I hate God. It ain't my job to find me a wife. It's my job to ride the right tight. I wanna touch lives, not lust after lies. But I wanna touch stars and commit drive-bys. No surprise to the wise that I'm so sick. My light is fading fast like an empty glow stick. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, shine your light. I don't need a wife, I need me more Christ. You know what I'm saying? So oh my goodness, man. Saw these evil girls fall. The girl at the coffee shop down the street, the waitress at Denny's, the, the one in line at the checkout counter, the librarian, the girl in the college group at church three rows over, and one at the bus stop. They all got together and conspired and said, We'll reject it, Cab Malone. Yes, we'll reject it with a silence. When we see him, we won't talk to him. I'm Cab Malone. So they asked me to write before I left, so I'm going to tag it up. I had to get the vocab and the Malone in there. Yep, Nate knows what's up, Mal1. That's exactly right, bro. That's what I just tagged. Mal1, you got it. 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 Mal1, you got it.
Mal one, you got it. Mal one, you got it. Mal one, you got it. Mal one, you got it. What does a godless system have to offer? Nothing except for living the life of a scoffer. Listen, 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 listen. What does a godless system have to offer? Nothing except for living the life of a scoffer. Nothing except for living the life of a scoffer. Living the life of a scoffer. Living the life of a scoffer. Scoffer, scoffer. Living the life of a scoffer. Listen, I'm a gospel hip hopper. Yes, a Christian, but not a pied popper. We're working on some skits, and these skits are apologetic skits. And you may watch it and say, well, it seems like you're making fun of these guys. But we're trying to really design it to poke holes in the fallacy in a different way because I'll be real frank. I've noticed that pointing out logical fallacies to the average Hebrew Israelite literally means nothing to them. And these skits are apologetic skits, apologetic skits, apologetic skits. And you may watch it and say, well, it seems like you're making fun of these guys. Well, it seems like you're making fun of these guys. Well, it seems like you're making fun of these guys. But, 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 but we're trying to really design it to poke holes in the fallacy in a different way. Give me that. Baruch, one and one. Read. And these are the words of the book. That's why the words of the book. I got some free lunch for y'all to find out about your true That's nationality. Right. That's right. Read this. Find out about your true That's nationality. Right. That's right. You don't need these songs. That's right. Read Second Maccabees. Because this book's been hidden from our people. That's right. Listen, what does a godless system have to offer? Nothing except for living the life of a scoffer. Living the life of a scoffer. 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 Mal one, you got it. 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 What does a godless system have to offer? Nothing except for living the life of a scoffer. It says, I'm, I'm of Judah. Now, are any of those dudes of Judah? I seriously doubt it. But in their imagination, they think they're of Judah. So they stand out, puff out their chest to say, I'm of Judah.
Of course, I began doing Christian hip hop myself, you know, very mediocre attempt. But what it led to are conversations in urban context as I would be out and about rapping at different churches and on the block. And uh, great guests and amazing uh, lectures, just really great stuff. So go there, check it out. Uh, this is right here, one of our favorite people in the world, Vocab Malone, pastor at Roosevelt Community Church, downtown Phoenix. What's up? What's up? Glad to be here. Yeah. And retired hip hop artist, semi retired. Semi retired. I just rap in church now. I keep it in church. Okay, keep it in the church. They used to say keep it out of church. Now I'd only rap in church. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. So uh, we're very close to Vocab and to Roosevelt Community Church, and uh, we've done a lot together. We've been on each other's shows more times than I can count at this point. Uh, used to be Backpack Radio, now Urban Theologian. Uh, we used to be Redemption Radio, turned into Apologia Radio. We've gone through a lot of different changes, some really cool stuff. And Vocab is on his way to getting his doctorate. Doctorate of Ministry. Doctorate so of Ministry. Yes. Nice. And, when uh, I'm done, I'll have a demon. That's some... <laughs> a demon. <laughs> sure. <laughs> and, uh... I'm sick of living in the state facade. I'll be honest, y'all. Sometimes I hate God. I'll be honest, y'all. Sometimes I hate God. Sometimes I hate God. Sometimes I hate God. Some a demon. <laughs> sure. And uh No, I, well. <laughs> I mean, it's perfect. I mean, I, I just want to get back to this because I, right, right. I, I think people really want to know who you are. 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 Step in the rain, feel the depths of my pain. Say I'm insane. Name the best lane, and I stay far from it. I name the best lane, and I stay far from it. I name the best lane, and I stay far from it. I plummet in the maze for days, no ways. Haze not clear, ears can't hear these rays of light. Ears can't hear these rays of light. Ears can't hear these rays of light. Maybe they might. I have no sight. Blinded by might, can't find my right. Can't fight my fight. Night, my flight shell, hell, flight all into by hell, hell all by myself. But flight into you hell all live. by myself. What's going on here? With flight into hell all can't by myself. myself. But then again, myself. well, I hate myself. Man, can't take myself. Man, I hate like myself. Crazy, man. Like I said, how did I miss this? Vocab says he hates himself. God cannot find him. Sometimes he hates God. He wants to do drive-bys, right? This is crazy. Can't take myself. I hate myself. Can't take myself. Can't make myself. I need some help. I need some help. I need some help. God, please help. Ha! Under God, please help. Ha! Under God, please help. Ha! Under too much pressure. Ha! Under too much pressure. Aspen on my dresser. Lay me out a stretcher. But 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 lay me out a stretcher.
demon, d d demon, demon, demon. Mal one, you got it. 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 This survey, this this data was focused to find out black Americans' opinions on the nation of zero. You guys understand that? I don't think you know really you have to understand what's going on when you walk out in the street and hear common people's opinions those who are getting off the bus those who are getting off the light rail uh your uber driver like you know what i mean not just like the blm people on a stage at some conference or something like i think it's when you kind of understand the lay of the land a little bit better yo the image problem is not as bad as a lot of us think now, I think the image problem should be bad. I think the image problem should be bad. I think the image problem should be bad. Because I think, and I, I think the essence of Hebrewism is bad, okay? For the most part, it's a problem. It's whack, I think. But the image problem is not as bad as you guys, a lot of times, I think, probably think it is. The crowds are starting to turn in their favor. And what, what has that resulted in? The Hebrew Israelites have no problem encouraging the crowds to violence, and I've seen it firsthand. Now, had there been riots and all that? No, I'm not saying anything like that. But there's videos online, and I almost experienced it myself, where they encourage some bystanders to basically deal with interlocutors. Mm. Now, granted, a lot of these interlocutors were drunk folks who started saying racist stuff or people who were really out of line. But it makes no excuse for, you know, what happened to them next, you know— uh, and, the, and these Hebrew Israelites will encourage it, and they'll say, "Praise Yahweh Shai for sending us guardian angels." It's just, it's just, it's hard to believe. And here's the here's the weirdest thing: when I first started doing this, the crowds, the people passing by in the city, they were relatively hostile to these groups. It was clear the average pedestrian, whatever whatever their race was, viewed them kind of as a nuisance. However, through a process of attrition. And basically showing up every Saturday, I went back out there a month ago. I could not believe how the crowd had turned against me. The first, the first interactions a couple years ago I had, it was clear the crowd was sort of with me, even though they weren't really Christians, just because they were tired of Hebrew Israelites yelling at them. This time, there were people there just to listen to these Hebrew Israelites. I got threatened several times. I, it was, it was a, a chaos I could not believe, and it was because the crowd's attitude has changed. And there's an anger and a rage that wasn't wasn't at the same level it is now that results in people looking at these guys like, you know what? Maybe these guys do have the answer. And if someone's there bothering them, they're, they're, they must be stopping something good. So I'm going to go stop that person, and that's exactly what happened to me. The camp, they didn't have to try to stop me. It was all pedestrian. Well, when I say pedestrians, I mean people who were there listening, physically getting in my face and intimidating me. It was wild. The crowds are starting to turn in their favor. There you go. There's the there's the narrative. Low key vocab. You scared because you know the Most High with the Black Hebrews. Wrong. No, hey, you know what? I'm not gonna say what I think on that, but let me just say that's 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 not at all what's up. Um, <laughs> man, these are not small numbers. There's way more Black Americans who either consider themselves Hebrew Israelites or agree with their teachings than I think anyone realized up until this point. If these numbers are even close to being right, which they're saying is a 4% margin of error, I do tend to think this is about right, these numbers. I think when you break it down, you realize there's some legitimacy to these numbers. Everett, you're misunderstanding. I don't think these are small numbers. They may look like small numbers, but I'm going to show you something here in a second with some basic math I did. And you guys are going to go, whoa, whoa. These are not very small numbers. Let me break it down. 23%, when you add it together, do you guys see this? 19 plus 4 is 23. 23% of black Americans either agree with most or all of Hebrew Israelism. That's almost a quarter of black Americans. That's a big deal. Let me show you something else you may have not considered yet. So 62% have never heard, right? 
But of those who have heard, 15 disagree. Only 15. The number of those who agree is higher than those who don't. Now watch this. That means 38% have heard of Hebrew Israelite teaching. That's just this group over here. It comprises 38% of black Americans. Guess what? 19 plus 4 is 23. Let me just show you this. If you added 23 together, so just doubled it. 23 plus 23, you'd have 46. Why, why do I bring up that number? Right? Here's why I bring up that number. Because you have 38% left who have heard of it. That means more than half of people who get exposed to Hebrew Israelism end up agreeing with it. Do you understand that? Look, I'm trying to break this down. I'm not very good at explaining this properly. 38% of black Americans have heard about Hebrew Israelites. 23 rock with it in some way. That means more than half of people who are exposed to it rock with it. More than half. You see what I'm saying? Do you, do you, I hope you guys understand that. Folks are not properly have been inoculated against the bad teaching of Hebrew Israelism. Christian apologists, part of our job is to properly inoculate people against the bad teaching of Hebrew Israelism. Right now, we're not doing a very good job. This is alarming. 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 If you look at this and understand it's done by Lifeway Research, a conservative, evangelical, Protestant organization who's interested in data collection in regards to this question, they're not trying to puff up the numbers. <laughs> right? It's fascinating they even had this question on here, right? This is utterly fascinating and should be a big wake-up call. Reason Uncensored, brother, I think I just answered the question. Why do you still make videos about these groups? Because look at the numbers on your screen. 23% of black Americans agree with most or all of Hebrew Israelism. That's almost a quarter. That's why I still make these videos.